Hey everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. So in this lesson, we are going to learn about Ansible templates. Now Ansible template is a great way of creating dynamic files. So as you know, Ansible is a configuration management tool. So when we are installing some sort of software, we also want to deploy some configuration files. So with the help of templates, typically we achieve those kind of things. Ansible templates also allows us to use variables, logical expressions, conditions, loops, etc. And the typical architecture of templates will be, you are going to have an Ansible playbook folder and inside that you are going to have a playbook and then you are going to have a folder again which is going to be called templates it has to be called templates it is a standard and inside that you are going to have a jinja2 file okay this is a jinja2 file where we can uh, put our variables for loops etc and then what ansible is going to do is ansible is going to use this file and going to render it and going to replace the variables with the actual values so take an example here here you can see we have a playbook and in this playbook we are installing apache http server and after the installation we are also creating a default index.html file now here you can see in the source we are saying that we want to use web page template.j2 so which means this file which is a template file this is going to be called web page template.j2 now here if you see i have not given any path i have just given the file name because by default we know that file is going to be under a folder which is called templates now in the destination we are saying we are going we want to deploy this file to slash where slash www slash html slash index.html which is basically a default html file in http server now here you can see in the file or in the template file what we have done is we are using some html tags and then we are using these variables which is inventory hostname uh, which is ansible's magic variable and then we are using ip address again this this is a variable we need to define this variable somewhere either in our playbook or in inventory or wherever and then we have ansible os family which is coming from facts so what will happen is when ansible executes this playbook it is going to use this as a source template and going to replace its value on each of the node with the actual value so for example when it is running on server one this inventory hostname is going to be replaced with server one and then ip address is going to be replaced with whatever the value of or whatever the IP address of server one is and whatever operating system of server one is that is going to be replaced here and similar is going to happen for server two. So let's go ahead and have a look at the actual example. So here you can see again I have a playbook and it is installing HTTP server and then we are talking about this template file. Now what I have done is I have put everything under a folder which is called template underscore demo and there we have a playbook file. Now right now we do not have a template directory so what we are going to do is let's create a templates directory and again we are going to name it properly as per the standard and under templates we are going to create a jinja2 file or basically a template file so i'm just going to copy this name and i'm going to create a file and going to give this name here now in this file we can write whatever templating which we want to write so for example let's say html and body then we have let's put h1 tag or h2 tag here we can say ansible play name so this is basically going to be replaced with whatever the playbook name is or the play name is and then let's say we want to use ip address or host name is and here we can use inventory underscore host name let's close the tag Okay, so our template file is now completely ready. Now what we will do is let's go back to here uh, to our playbook file and here you can see we are targeting hosts group which is sent to a server one. So if we go to our inventory file we can see under sent to a server one we have uh, these two IP addresses. So basically we are targeting these two IP addresses. Here, let's go ahead and run the playbook. gathering facts task has completed now we are waiting for the next task which is installing apache http server so apache http server is also already available and then our third task i think our third task has not executed because i didn't save the file i had saved the file until here so i need to save the file again and let's run it again now you can see our third task of creating default index.html has executed as well. Try to access the web pages which is 192.168.1.20 and port is 80. Now here we can see this is installed 
this is install and run apache http server so here you can see again if you want to compare it here you can see this is the name of the play so in our template you can see we had written this is and then whatever is here it, it was supposed to be replaced by the name of the play which is install and run apache http server so again we can go here we can see that ip address is also being changed to 192.168.1.20 now let's go to another node which is 21 and here also we can see this is install and run apache http server and here we can see a different ip address which means our creation of the file output file and deployment to where wwhtml has been successfully completed you can play a lot with template file you can literally add anything for example let's say if i want to add ansible facts which gives you know complete detail about the server we can do that as well so let's run it and see how our web page is going to look like after this is executed. Now Ansible Facts has a lot of information and it is not really formatted properly. So probably we are going to see more like a page filled with a lot of details. So let's refresh it now. Here you can see we have so many detail about this node. And again if I refresh here again same thing is repeating. So that's all about Ansible templates for now. See you again in the next lesson.